Appearing on the Newsline program this morning, a senior lawyer, Gomin Dayashri, elaborated on commissions of inquiry. Presidential commissions of inquiry. Are these serving any earthly purpose? Examples. Number one, cast your mind back. 17th of March 2015, Prime Minister Rani Vikram Singh arrives in Parliament, gives a statement. He says, I insisted on the change of the system in the way bonds were being issued because in the previous government there was corruption. The key words there, I insisted on the change. Roll back, go forward a little bit. Arjuna Mahendran goes to court and he confirms. He says, all I did was to follow the instructions of the Prime Minister. Roll the clock forward a bit. The Presidential Commission of Inquiry, two Supreme Court judges on that panel. They say in one part of the report, I think page 917, now then it says there that there is no evidence that the Prime Minister asked Mahendran to break the rules. Come on. That's a little bit like going now, second example, it involves you. Gomin Dasiri goes to the Supreme Court, intervenes and on the 19th Amendment, and Gomin Dasiri is asking or asking the, posing the question that if it was in its, that form, that the people's franchise will be on hold for four and a half years. They can't have parliamentary election. Ahsoka for, de Silva. Ahsoka de Silva. Chief Justice then. What does he say? He, he, does, he ignores that question and he gives a, an order saying that the president under the constitution, under that relevant section, can appoint whoever he deems fit to be the treasury secretary. Again, a question of Kohede Yande Malipol, the Batalanda Commission. What happened there? There you are. Now the question is, do we need commissions of inquiry? I, I, commissions of inquiry are a provision in the law which need them, but we don't, the way they have acted is very suspicious. May I put it this way? Let us take Asoka de Silva's case. Where did Asoka de Silva end? He became, the, he became a stooge of the present, of the last government. He became an advisor to Mahindra Rajapaksa. Is that a post that a chief justice of any repute should take on? after he retires, when he has gets the full salary as pension for the purpose that he doesn't do any other appointment except give legal advice, may sit on another commission. But he, they are not expected to go as ambassadors. They are not expected to become presidential advisors. Second case, that was the case of, uh, that was, uh, as far as the petition, the 19th Amendment is concerned, I'm the guy who, pays, I'm the petitioner. It's yeah. Das reverse a state. Yeah. And I submitted very strenuously that the 14th Amendment takes away the franchise of the people which affects the uh, fundamental rights of the people for four and a half years. It can I have a yes or no answer? Does the Prime Minister have a moral right to carry on in the light of the bond scam? answer is very simple. He has no right whatsoever. He should leave, but he won't. He'll be booted out. Thank you very much. Govindasri, back from the Caribbean. Do share your program. <laughs>